Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. Much like the others, Melvin Duenas was an altar boy when he allegedly fell victim to child molestation by the hands of church clergy. Today, 55 years old, he marks the 17th victim to file suit against the church. According to federal court filings, Duenas was the chief of altar boys at St. Joseph Parish in Inarahan. His duties, which included ringing the church bell multiple times a day, in addition to serving at mass daily and three times on Sundays, he was asked to live in the guest room at the St. Joseph Rectory. The priest at the time was Thomas A. Camacho, now retired bishop of the Diocese of Chalanconoa in the Northern Mariana Islands. The complaint alleges that between 1971 to 1974, when Duenas was 10 to 13 years old, he was sexually molested and raped by Camacho on a nightly basis. According to Duenas, he wouldn't be allowed back to his room until the priest was satisfied. Despite efforts to resist the sexual abuse and prevent Camacho from penetrating him, Duenas reports he was not able to free himself and ultimately ran away from the rectory to escape the abuse. Duenas also names Father Louis Brouillard. Court documents state Duenas on occasion served Mass at the San Isidro Catholic Church of Malolo. Much like other accusations against Brouillard, Duenas reports the priest would walk around naked, not only in the convent in front of the boys, but under his robe while saying Mass. Duenas was not alone in the abuse. As the complaint states, other boys were subject to masturbating and performing oral sex on the priest, who also served as the scoutmaster for the Boy Scouts of America. Last year, Brouillard admitted in a phone interview with KUAM to molesting young boys while on Guam. Today he lives in Minnesota and although he's been removed as a priest, the Archdiocese of Aganya confirms he still receives a $300 monthly stipend. As an adult, Duenas tried to confront Father Camacho. In 2006 or 2007, Duenas was in Saipan and made multiple efforts to contact Camacho via phone and email, but no response has been made to date. KUAM reached out to the Diocese of Chalanconoa shortly after the complaint was filed in the federal court, but no response was made as of news time. Camacho retired as a bishop in 2010 and still resides in Saipan. He is 83 years old. The lawsuit, like the others filed by attorney David Lujan, who represents all the alleged victims to date, seeks $5 million in damages. To view the complaint in its entirety, visit our website. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Crystal Paco. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.